So a first down for the Peterstown Pirates. Just a very quick look. And the pass out on the flat on the far side to Jeff Moore. Stauffer had it right on the money. And before the Mustangs could react, the Peterstown Pirates have got their first first down of the second half. They'll have it first and 10 from their own 26-yard line. Clock continues to move inside seven minutes, approaching the six and a half minute mark of quarter number three. 13 to eight, the Mount Hope Mustangs on top. The wide out to the near side for Peterstown is Jason Buckland. Backs are split, the quick pitch, they get it to Moore. Moore looking for running room, has it upfield to about the 31 yard line before being bumped out of bounds. They say he stepped out at the 32. Pick up of six yards on the play. For the Peterstown Pirates, Jeff Moore seeing a lot of action tonight. New face in the lineup for the Peterstown Pirates, Travis Jackson. will check in with a play from the near sideline. Jackson along with Hawks will be split to the far side of the field to the near side, Jason Buckland. The backs are split in behind Stauffer. Second and five from the 31. Back to pass. Firing out on the flight on the new side. Complete the Moore at the 30, the 35, the 40. Fumble on the play. Picked up by Mount Hope. Still loose now. And I believe Peterstown got it back. Oh, my. Brandon Tucker picked up the loose football as he started upfield. He lost control of it. And Billy Barr, or check that, Jason Buckland was there for the Peterstown Pirates to regain possession. So it went to Peterstown, the Mount Hope, and right back to Peterstown, and they get a first down, Tony. Brandon Tucker has had two incredible opportunities to make a turnover happen tonight. An interception late in the first half that he should have had, and there he had a fumble recovery in his hands. He started to run with it and lost it. And the Peterstown Pirates have it first and 10 from their own 41-yard line. Backs are split. They'll bring Matt Mann into motion from the far side. On the handoff, they give it to Jeff Moore. Moore gets inside the 45-yard line, upfield to about the 46, before being stopped on the play by the Mount Hope Mustangs' Craig Holly. Holly in on the stop for the Mustangs, along with Benny Tadero. Five and a half minutes left to be played. Quarter number three, 13-8 your score. Mount Hope on top. Peterstown has the football. And a couple of real big plays have kept this drive alive. Now on the 46-yard line, they're looking at second and five from that point. Tony Hawks in tight on the far side. In motion from the near side to the far side goes Jeff Moore. On the keeper by Kerry Stauffer, he'll go down right at the line of scrimmage, maybe even lost a yard on the play. Faked one way, brought it back to the near side, and the Mustangs were waiting on the quarterback for Peterstown. The loss is back to the 45. Loss of one, it'll be third and six. Jason Buckland brings the play in from the near sideline. Don Jackson in his seventh year as the head man at Peterstown High School. Flank to the far side is Moore. Faking one way. Matt Mann is the quarterback. Passing situation. Downfield. Intercepted by the Mount Hope Mustangs at the 27 to the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50. Emmett Allen has it inside the 40, the 35. And it'll go down at the 34-yard line. Fumble on the play, but they blew Emmett Allen dead at the 34-yard line. Stepped right in front of the intended receiver, Jeff Moore. And Emmett Allen set sail down the middle, down the far, brought it back to the near, went back to the far sideline, and finally, at the 33-yard line, they bring him down, and the Mount Hope Mustangs come up with that elusive turnover they've been looking for. Big, big play by Emmett Allen. The right side corner for the Mount Hope Mustangs. So first and 10 from the 33-yard line of Peterstown. They hand it off to Randy Underwood, the big fullback, inside the 25 to the 24. Just pulling his way downfield, pushing would-be tacklers out of the way, and finally stopped on the play for the Peterstown Pirates. The stop was made by Ivan or Ivan Painter. Or Gail Peck was the guy youngster that stopped him. Jeff Moore checks out of the lineup for Peterstown. Mount Hope looking at second and one after the big nine-yard pickup by Randy Underwood. Tucker on the handoff to Jeff Stevens. Stevens, I don't think, even has the first down. What a defensive play by Peterstown. Leading the way, Chris McClarney, the All-Stater from last year. 
putting Jeff Stevens down. Let's see if the forward progress gives him the first down. It's going to be close. No, it's going to be third and short. Third and about half a yard for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Football at the 24. Need to get just this side of the 23. Tucker on the pitch to John Marchio. Has the first down. Sprints it to the outside, inside the 15, down to the 13-yard line. John Marchio, the ball carrier for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Enough for a Mustang first down, but Marchio is still down on the carpet right where he went down with the football. John Marchio, we've not called his name too much tonight. Most of the time it's been Jeff Stevens, and now he's helped up by his teammates. And he will check out for at least one play. Emmett Allen will check into that offensive backfield for the Mount Hope Mustangs. First and 10 for the gold and blue of the Mount Hope Mustangs at the 13-yard line of Peterstown. Mount Hope knocking on the door once again here in the second half. They lead it by a score of 13 to 8, 253 left in the third quarter. Out of the wishbone attack, Brandon Tucker on the quick pitch to the near sideline. Jeff Stevens has the football. He's at the 10. Stenner steps at the 5, dancing and prancing into the end zone. He backpedaled into the end zone after he sidestepped the would-be tackle of Tony Hawks at the four-yard line. He spun around and backpedaled into the end zone. A 13-yard touchdown run by Jeff Stevens of the Mount Hope Mustangs, and the Mustangs on top by a score of 19 to 8. Brandon Tucker will come on and attempt the point after. So two big scores, that one coming after the turnover and the pass interception and fine run back by Emmett Allen of the Mount Hope Mustangs and the 13-yard run from scrimmage by Jeff Stevens. The kick by Brandon Tucker splits the uprights with 2.42 left in quarter number three. The Mustangs lead it by a score of 20 to 8. This SSAC championship event is an exclusive presentation of the Metro News Radio Network. Hey, does, uh, does Stevens play defense? No. Jeff Stevens? No. Hey, Rhino. Yeah. Get me Jeff Stevens over on that sideline if you get a chance. Let's talk to him. Where is he? He's, uh, he wears the uh, 30, 34. Tell us all about that last touchdown run. Oh, it was nice. Hey. I've been keeping my own game going. Just a little bit busy right now, guys. Concentrating on the game. His club's up 28. Let's go back to you. It was quite simple. Freddie said it was nice. I think he said it all in those three words. Set to go. Two minutes, 42 seconds left in quarter. Number three, 20 to eight. And the Mount Hope Mustangs on top of the Peterstown Pirates. Patterson getting set to put the foot into it, does so. High end over end kick, sailing down to Matt Mann at the six yard line. At the 10, the 15, the 20, right up the middle of the field. He'll go down at the 24 yard line. That time they didn't try the reverse. They didn't try anything. They said, Matt, take the football up the middle of the field and Benny Tadero there to put him down at the 24 yard line. So the Peterstown Pirates will have the football first and 10 from their own 24. They trail 20 to eight in this rematch with the Mount Oak Mustangs, but this time it's not a regular season game. This time it's for the class single A state championship. The Mustangs have scored 13 unanswered points so far here in quarter number three to lead 20 to eight. The quarterback is Matt Mann for the Peterstown Pirates passing, looking, firing downfield. Moore, the intended receiver on the near sideline football was thrown well out of bounds, well covered. That time was Jeff Moore for the Peterstown Pirates. And Jeff Stevens, who normally does not play defense at all, was in there covering on that. That may have been why he was in such a hurry to get yeah. back out onto the field. And now he trots off to the field. Normally, Jeff Stevens does not play defense, but they did insert him at a cornerback position on that one play. Well, maybe they knew that uh, Peterstown put it up in the air. Interception attempt, perhaps? Well, Stevens would be a good one to try and intercept it. Back to pass again. Matt Mann firing and complete at the 35-yard line and stopped immediately there. Football taken in by Jason Buckland of Peterstown. That'll be enough for a first down. 
Pass completion good for 11 yards. Out to the 35-yard line. So Matt Mann now quarterbacking the Peterstown Pirates. He had been inserted a couple of times in passing situations. Maybe Don Jackson is saying this is the way we're going to have to move down the field on this very tough Mount Hope defense. They've been awfully good against the rush. So they've put Matt Mann in at quarterback. Kerry Stauffer is in at a halfback position. Wide outs, one to each side. Man, the quarterback dropping back to pass. Third straight pass. Chase down the middle. Fumble on the play. Picked up by Randy Underwood. Still looking for the handle. Can he find it? I believe Peterstown came up with it. At about the five-yard line, a penalty flag is thrown. Let's see who finally. Mount Hope has the football, they say, as it was finally recovered by Brian Davis for the Mount Hope Mustangs. And then the penalty flag was thrown, and it will be a personal foul against Peterstown. Boy. When the roof falls in, it brings the rafters with it, Tony. Excuse me for screaming there, Fred, but I mean, that ball popped out there 20 yards downfield. That's all right. My ear doctor will be sending you the bill. <laughs> At the five-yard line, the football was finally recovered. I thought Randy Underwood was going to be the one that picked it up and go. I think he had it for maybe two or three yards. It got loose from him, and Brian Davis was there very wisely, fell on the football, and then the personal foul against Peterstown is added on half the distance to the goal line and the Mount Hope Mustangs coming up with another possible scoring opportunity, certainly a possible scoring opportunity. It will be first and goal from the three with a minute 38 left in the third. Another big, crucial turnover by the Peterstown Pirates. Jeff Stevens says something to Brandon Tucker. Pops probably, well, what is the snap count on since he was late getting into the huddle for Mount Hope? They hand it off to Marchio. Touchdown. No one touched Marchio as he strolled into the end zone over the left side. And from three yards out, boom, boom. Turnover, touchdown. And sometimes that's the way it goes with a minute 32. Only a minute and 10 seconds after their last score, the Mustangs put another six on the scoreboard. And the red and white fans here on the near sideline of Peterstown have not had a lot to cheer about here in the third quarter so far. But again, don't forget, a very explosive team for Peterstown, and we have a lot of football left in this one. Brandon Tucker on to attempt the point after. Puts the football down, the kick is up, and it sails wide right, no good. With a minute 32 left in quarter number three, the Mustangs lead it by a score of 26 to eight. This SSAC championship event is an exclusive presentation of the Metro News Radio Network. Yes. jubilation is at this time as they've scored two quick touchdowns in the last minute or so to lead 26 to 8. Dwayne Patterson once again has the football teed at the 40-yard line. The deep backs. Matt Mann and Kerry Stauffer for the Peterstown Pirates. Jeff Moore's there as well. The whistle from the official, Patterson. Line drive kick taken by Moore at the 12, the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, and there he goes down, just shy of the 35-yard line. Special teams again led by Jeff Stevens. Puts Moore down, and the Peterstown Pirates with a minute 28 will put the football into play, trailing by a score of 26 to 8. The Mustangs have exploded for three touchdowns in the third quarter. They trailed 8-7 at halftime, but the third quarter has belonged to the Mallow Mustangs. And Kerry Stauffer is now the quarterback for Peterstown. Backs are split. They give the pitch to Matt Mann. He fires downfield complete, but you're going to have a penalty flag, and you're going to have an illegal motion called against Matt Mann. He went into motion just before the handoff, and it'll be illegal motion, as I said, against Peterstown. 
And he paid the price for throwing that football there, Fred. He was crushed upon releasing it. He gets up slowly, and he's still holding tenderly to his right hand. He throws the football extremely well. The pass completion was all the way upfield to the 47-yard line, but it'll come back, and the penalty will be marked off, and it'll be first and 15. For the Peterstown Pirates from their own 29. A minute five left in quarter number three. Jason Buckland, the wide out to the near side. Jeff Moore to the far side. Backs are split. In behind, Matt Mann. Back to pass, firing, and complete at the 39-yard line to Tony Hawks. Hawks rolled out of bounds on the near sideline at the 41. It'll be short of the first down. They'll still need a couple of yards, but a beautiful pass completion, and I am very, very impressed yeah. with Matt Mann, the way he stands in there and takes the lick, knowing it's coming, but he really puts the football on the money with his passing. Clock is moving 34 seconds as we approach the end of the third quarter. 26 to 8. The Mount Hope Mustangs on top of Peterstown. Jeff Moore flanked to the far side. Back split. In behind Stauffer. The pitch goes to Matt Mann. Looking for the first down. Not finding it. Good defensive play by the Mount Hope Mustangs. Curtis Johnson in on the stop on the far side from his defensive end position to put Matt Mann down. Loss of about a yard is going to be a third and two as the horn sounds. We're at the end of three with the score. Mount Hope 26, Peterstown 8. This is the Metro News Radio Network. was down this game now they're up and big by 18 points looking for that class single a championship everybody here very excited they can sense it it's only 12 minutes away and counting back to you guys 19 unanswered points in the third quarter by the Mount Hope Mustangs first play from scrimmage to start the fourth quarter pass in completion and once again Matt Mann took a licking but he keeps on ticking as he walks to the near sideline Kerry Stauffer will be the quarterback on the fourth and short yardage, and the Peterstown Pirates will have to give up the football. 12 minutes of action left. I'm sure Don Jackson's told his crew, hey, they scored 19 unanswered points in the third. We do it in the fourth. We win by one. And they're going to go for it. Interesting call here. Fourth and two from the 42. Wanting to keep the football. Hands it off to Josh Pitts. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the Mount Hope Mustangs. I think he would have been stopped anyway. But Josh Pence fumbled the football, was recovered by the Mount Hope Mustangs, and they take over in pretty good field position, Tony Caridi, in the fourth quarter. Well, I'm telling you what, Fred. Everything has gone the way of the Mustangs in this second half. I mean, balls are bouncing around this place. They're getting kicked downfield 20 yards, and by the time the pile gets up, Mount Hope's got possession of the football. Everything's going their way. The Mustangs, again, 19 unanswered points to erase a one-point halftime deficit. And the lead by 18. They have the football first and 10 from the 43 of Peterstown. And jumping off sides, the Peterstown Pirates, were they drawn off? Let's wait and see by the official. Three of them came over that line all at the same time. Usually that means they were drawn off sides. But the call against Peterstown. It'll be first and five from the 38. So they were not drawn. They just all decided to go at the same time. First and five from the 38. Another break for the Mount Hope Mustangs. 
Good teams take advantage of turnovers, and that's what Mount Hope has done here in the third in the second half. Eleven and a half minutes left in the game. 26 to 8. Mount Hope on top. They have the football. Brandon Tucker on the handoff to Jeff Stevens at the 35-yard line. Does a 360. Gets outside to the 30-yard line. Still on his feet. Goes down at the 28. Jeff Stevens had 135 yards in the first half. He's added to that certainly in the second half. With all the rushing, Jeff Stevens, though, only one touchdown. They really spread it around. Randy Underwood scored. Brandon Tucker scored. Jeff Stevens scored. John Marchio scored for the Mount Hope Mustangs. First and 10 from the 28-yard line. Clock is moving. We're at the 11-minute mark. 26-8. Mount Hope on top. Brandon Tucker on the handoff to Marchio. Marchio gets a couple of yards and gets down to the 25-yard line before finally being stopped by Peterstown over on the right side. He will pick up a three. Be second and seven from that point. They need the 18-yard line for another first down. Twenty-six to eight. It was eight to seven at halftime. And the Mount Hope Mustangs came roaring out of the locker room. 19 points they scored. Full house backfield out of the wishbone. On the pitch, they give it to Jeff Stevens at the 25. Side steps a tackler looking for running room to the near side. He's at the 20. He's at the 18 before being shoved out of bounds finally on the near sideline. And he'll be close to another Mustang first down. They needed the 18. That's where they put the football. Let's see if they bring the chains over or if they go ahead and call it. It's awfully close to a first down. They may need, and they're going to call the chains from the far sideline. Tony Jeff Stevens just does about anything he wants to offensively with the football once he gets it. As the chains come from the far sideline. You heard anything about schools looking at him? Is he going to be a West Virginia Conference player? Or? I haven't heard anyone say. I tell you, he looks like tonight he could play anywhere he wanted to. <laughs> it is a first down for the Mount Hope Mustangs right at the 18-yard line. And the Mustangs have really taken advantage of the turnovers caused by Peterstown. And you and I were talking, the team that turns it over the fewest amount of times may be the class single-A state champion. And boy, so far that has proven true to this point. We have 10 minutes of football action left. A lot of time, a lot of things can happen, but I think Peterstown definitely has to stop Mount Hope on this drive. The wishbone attack once again. Fake it one way. Give it to Randy Underwood. Fumble on the play, but I think he recovered his own fumble. So Underwood, and it's fumbled down to the 17-yard line. He picks up a yard on the fumble. And when it bounces right, it bounces right. Quick hitter up the middle. Second and nine from the 17. They come away with points here, Fred, and they'll be in that driver's seat. We're under 10 minutes to go now. Brandon Tucker brings them to the line of scrimmage. Boy, they really spread out that wishbone. Hand it off again to Underwood. Quickly across the 15, down to about the 13-yard line. Josh Pence and a host of other Peterstown Pirates trying to get Underwood on his backside. He wouldn't go, and they blow him dead there. All the way down to the 12-yard line. They'll bring up third and three from that point. Clock continues to move, and that's another detriment for Peterstown. They must stop them here, and they really need to do something offensively as soon as they get it. A couple of wideouts, Jeff Stevens and John Marchio to the near side. Hand it off to Underwood, the lone setback, and the big fullback bulling close to another first down for the Mount Hope Mustangs. He gets it across the 10, down to about the 8, and it is another first down. It'll be first and goal from the 7-yard line. That keeps the clock moving and keeps the drive alive. The Mount Hope Mustangs get Billy Burns into the lineup with the play from the far sideline. Head coach Eddie Soup Jr. Boy, what a season the Mustangs have had. Looking for revenge for their only loss against the Peterstown Pirates. Knocking on the door again here in the second half. Underwood, the five, the four, the three, and down to the two before finally being dragged down. Underwood carrying red shirts with him as he moves down the field and when one of those red shirts is Josh Pinch you're carrying a load but he's still keeping the legs turning he gets it down to just about the one yard line Tony 
prototype fullback, the kind of guy built low to the ground, keeps churning those legs no matter if he's hit churning, 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 down to the half yard line. 5'10", 200 pounds, senior Underwood. Brandon Tucker calls his own number, he'll not get in. Good, good defensive surge that time by Tony Hawks and company for the Peterstown Pirates, and Brandon Tucker was denied the end zone. So it'll bring up second and goal from the one. Dwayne Patterson checks in with the play from the far sideline. Seven minutes, 49 seconds. Again, the big enemy for the Peterstown Pirates is the scoreboard clock. They trail 26 to eight. Brandon Tucker yelling at the signals. Calls his own number again. Touchdown. He brought it to the near side and then cut it inside. And from one yard out, Brandon Tucker has his second touchdown of the night with 7.35 left in the football game. Brandon Tucker pushes it over. From one yard out, 32 to 8 is the score. The Mount Hope Mustangs on top. Billy Burns will come in. He'll be the holder as Brandon Tucker will attempt the point after. They'll place it down on the 10-yard line, kicking away from the scoreboard. Kick is blocked away by the Peterstown Pirates with 7.35 left to be played in the football game. 32 to 8. The Mustangs lead the Pirates. This SSAC championship event is an exclusive presentation of the Metro News Radio Network. Pirates 32 to 8 with 7 minutes 35 seconds left to be played in the football game. The Mount Hope Mustangs have taken advantage of every turnover the Peterstown Pirates has had in the second half and it's been numerous. One of the assistants just came over from Mount Hope and said that he's got Jeff Stevens unofficially for 201 yards. I'll tell you what, I'm going to step downstairs and check it officially. All right, the kickoff from Dwayne Patterson sailing downfield to Matt Mann at the 5. On the reverse again. This time they bring it to the near sideline, to the 10, the 15, and there he goes down, carrying the football for the Peterstown Pirates, Jim Goins. A backup halfback took the reverse that time from Matt Mann, and he moves it upfield about... 10 yards. Well, they put him down at the 14. So he moves it back at field nine yards from the point that he took the football from Matt Mann. Stop made by Benny Tadero for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Seven minutes, 28 seconds left in the football game. 32 to 8. The Mount Hope Mustangs on top of the Peterstown Pirates. Pirates break out of their huddle. Kerry Stauffer will be the quarterback. Backs will be split and behind Kerry. Wide out to the far side, one to the near side. He brings them set. Back to pass. Pump faking. Hands it off this time to Matt Mann now. On the fake, he gets it to Mann at the 20, the 25. Pumped out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. Nice fake that time by Kerry Stauffer. Looked like he was going to pump fake the pass and then brought the football down, handed it off to Matt Mann coming around from the far side. Mann moves it upfield across the 25. They say he went out of bounds at the 28-yard line. It will be a first down for the Peterstown Pirates. Good play that time by the Pirates. And stepping out of bounds stops the clock. 7.08 left in the game. Peterstown with the football. First and 10 from their own 28-yard line. Backs are split. Man, the quarterback, back to pass, looking downfield, firing, and incomplete in and out of the hands of Brandon Tucker, who almost came up with the interception. Pass was intended for Jason Bucklin at about the 30-yard line. So a second and 10 situation for the Peterstown Pirates from their own 28-yard line. Matt Mann, Kerry Stauffer, been sharing the duties at quarterback. When they certainly want to pass the football, they want Matt Mann there, and he is there again. Stauffer now becomes the left halfback. 
He's in the backfield along with Josh Pence, setting up the pass. Man, dropping deep, firing downfield, and in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Richie Miller at about the 44-yard line. Richie Miller would have had the first down, defending on the play for the Mount Hope Mustangs, Emmett Allen and Brandon Tucker. Third and 10. And again, it has come to that situation where the Peterstown Pirates almost certainly have to pass the football on the pass in completion, at least the clock stops. Six minutes and 56 seconds is a lot of time. But 24 points is a big lead to overcome. The fans of the Peterstown Pirates trying to get behind their team. Back to pass again, Matt Mann looking. Has the protection, now it breaks down and he goes down. In the arms of the Mount Hope Mustangs, Scott Neri. He goes down at the 22-yard line. And it's going to bring up a fourth and long situation. And Peterstown, most assuredly, will have to kick the football away. Matt so, Mann, excuse me, Fred, has had a second half he'd love to forget. He has just been beaten up back there. No question about it. Tony Hawks will be the youngster who will pump the football away for the Peterstown Pirates standing on his own 10-yard line. Line of scrimmage is the 21. The snap is good. The kick is away. Sailing to the far side, taken at midfield by Emmett Allen. He's at the 45, but John Marchio, rather. Marchio at the 45, still on his feet, and now he'll go down. Fumble on the play. Will it go out of bounds, or was it saved by Peterstown? The Pirates, no signal yet, have the football. The Peterstown Pirates have the football. They had to recover it before it went out of bounds, and hustling after the football and making the recovery near the sideline was Peterstown after the fumble by John Marchio. So Peterstown will maintain possession of the football. The line of scrimmage is the 36. They pick up 15 yards, technically, on the punt. So first and 10 from the 36. Clock is moving. We're at the six-minute mark of the football game. 32 to 8 is your score. Mount Hope on top. Backs are split. Matt Mann is the quarterback, dropping back to pass, firing on the far sideline. Intended receiver is Jeff Moore, well overthrown at about the 45-yard line. That will stop the clock with 5.47 left in the game. Class single-A state championship. Laidley Field in Charleston, Fred Persinger along with Tony Caridi and Dave Ryan. Two, two state championships have already been decided. East Bank last night in double-A. Capital High this afternoon in AAA. And tonight, it will be either Mount Hope or Peterstown taking home the single A trophy. Again, the split backfield in behind Matt Mann, dropping back to pass, setting up, firing downfield, and intended for Tony Hawks incomplete. Overthrown at about the 45 yard line. Dwayne Patterson back, defending on the play for the Mount Hope Mustangs. 5.43 left. But third and 10, the situation they need to come up with a big play here. Don Jackson. Talking with Jim Goins as he sends Jim into the football game along with Jason Buckland. Josh Pence will check out. Goins, a six foot, 150 pound sophomore. He'll be in the backfield along with Kerry Stauffer. Tony Hawks, the wide out to the near side. Matt Mann is the quarterback. On the keeper, he tries to get out of the way of Goins. Football is pitched on the far side now to Stauffer, and Stauffer goes down at the line of scrimmage. The Mustangs would not let that one develop at all on the far sideline. Jim Goins got in a little bit of traffic that time in front of Matt Mann, and then Matt Mann pitched it on the far side to carry Stauffer, and Stauffer finally stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain, fourth down from the 37-yard line. Five minutes, 10 seconds. Clock continues to move. Three deep backs now for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Thinking the punt is to arrive from Peterstown. Let's see what they do. Snap is high, but controlled. The kick is away by Tony Hawk sailing down and taken by Jeff Stevens at the 35. Reverses his field position to the 40, the 45, the 50. He's at midfield. He gets into the 45, 44. He'll go down at about the 43-yard line, spinning away time after time, uh, moving the football upfield and then across midfield down to the 43-yard line of the Peterstown Pirates. With four minutes, 44 seconds left in the game, the Mount Hope Mustangs will have the football leading 
by a score of 32 to eight. Have you ever seen a football player who spins more than Jeff Stevens? Jeff Stevens, he kind of staggers off to the sideline after a run or two. Mount Hope checks in at the line of scrimmage. That makes more circles than a ceiling fan. Wishbone for Brandon Tucker on the handoff to the fullback, Underwood. Underwood a yard, maybe no more, right up the middle of the field. But what it does, it keeps the clock moving for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Four minutes, 15 seconds left. Pickup of one yard on the play. It'll be second and nine from the 41-yard line. The wide out to the near side, Billy Burns for the Mount Hope Mustangs. Brian Jolly in tight on the far side. Running room to the near side out of the wishbone attack. Brandon Tucker keeps it himself. Calls his own number. Now on the pitch, he gets it to John Marchio. Was it a forward lateral, Tony? I, I believe it so. was. Flag. I think so, too. Flag comes down now. Flag comes down. Let's see what the call will be. But it looked like a forward lateral. It would be tough to call that a forward pass. Let's see what the call is from the official. Finally tackled at the 38-yard line. Yep, that's what it was.